If you are not up to date with this whole drama between HAL and Tech, I recommend you watch this video before this one. Okay, so basically Tech came up with a response to this whole allegation about gatekeeping uh, Luxford from getting in another team, which after this video you will see is not right. Tech will show DMs with uh, admins, with Luxford and all you need to know. So yeah, make sure to stay until the end if you want to learn everything about this situation and who is right and who is in the wrong. I mean, at the end of the day, like nothing in my life changes. My life is exactly the same as it was when I woke up this morning. But some things are just complete bullshit that sometimes you have to spend your time debunking some of this stuff. Got to put some people in their places for things that just are not true that, you know, are kind of kind of uh, damaging and like a bit reckless. You know, you don't have to like me as a player. I do troll things. Not always intentional, but it's just me as a player and how I play the game. Uh, you don't have to like me. That's fine. But I don't think people have a right to say things that are one just not true and very damaging this is this is the drama i woke up to this morning can we also talk about how fucking um when luxford was trialing for other teams or whatever the fuck because they were doing bad and he was basically 1v3 since his teammates are fucking useless um when he was on meet fucking you know that tech when he w when luxford was trying to join native or whatever since if you're a captain on Battlefy, the only way you are able to leave a Battlefy roster is if you get kicked from the captain, from what I understand. Yeah, so if you want to leave a Battlefy roster, uh, one, that's not true. The captain still has to make requests, so I can't just get on Battlefy and kick anybody because I'm the captain on the Battlefy roster. I can't. I don't think I can get on there and just kick anybody. I have to make a request to Tab, who's like an ALGS guy, and they approve it or deny it based on like whatever. Like if you know we've exceeded our certain number of roster changes per season. Um, so in order for someone to leave or, or for someone to be added, you have to make a request and they approve it most times. From what so I that, understand. So that's how that works is what and he's saying. Tech was trying to keep him on the roster because he was the captain. So he could not play that pro league with native. Like he was holding him captive. So he, he was not able to fucking play, like leave the team because Tech was the one that had to kick him. And Battlefy had to go out of their way to like tell Tech, like if you don't do this, you know, whatever, blah, 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 blah. So, He's saying that I held Lux hostage because I myself didn't make a request to kick him off the team or remove him from the team. And then the way that he said that this, there's like ALGS told me that, hey, I need to make a request. ALGS didn't tell me anything. Lux didn't tell me anything. Lux didn't say anything. Let's go to our messages with Lux, all right? Uh, this is all our DMs I've had with Lux since whatever. This is about jump mastering shit. We had a bad day. Let's forget about yesterday and put it behind us. Go with fresh days. We can go show up and win. I know we can fall for land this time. Good job today, Lux. We can do even better tomorrow. Yep. And then this is me telling him, I think A1 should get the fuck off Horizon because A1's is brain dead on Horizon. And then today, like this this is all I've, we've had from Lux, I guess is the point of showing. This is the only conversation I've had with Lux. And I said, you know, a couple, an hour ago, what are you on about? Why are you spreading rumors? This is fake as shit. I didn't hold anybody hostage. You're insanely delusional if you think I was holding you hostage. Now, let's go to our ALGS chat. This is our ALGS chat. This is the chat between the admins and everyone on meet um, on here. Let's see. This is our group chat that we had February 10th. Yanya's telling us we're landing Devastated Coast. I'd say he dies. We finished 20th in Pro League. Uh, I think the third week. This is our group chat. And this is what we get from Lux. I'll let you know when they want to trial me. Um, this is a conversation between Quinn and Lux. So blah, blah, blah. Going everything over yesterday. Blah, blah, blah. Coach says he's sick. Coach says, okay, keep us updated. A1 says, okay. And then that's it. Um, and then after this conversation, Lux doesn't tell me anything. I guess he messages Jason A1 saying, it was a pleasure playing with you guys. Or, or, or we talked, Jason and I talked, and we're basically like, what do we want to do here? And we were both on the, all, all three of us were on the same page where it's like, well, if he's trialing and just the way the vibes of the team have been, he just clearly doesn't want to be here. So, you know, we're just going to essentially let him take that opportunity and drop him or him leaving for that, like whatever it is. We, we knew Native was going to take him. So that was kind of that. There's no... There's legit nothing else from Lux. There's nothing from like Lux and I. I don't know if there's anything from Lux and Jace, but all I know is that there was no conversation ever from Lux to be like, hey, I'm um, like, he didn't give us any update of what was happening with Native. We just said, hey, you should go pursue the opportunity with Native. You clearly don't want to be here. You know, it was fun, but this isn't gonna work anymore. That's the, that's the message that Chase sent to him. Jace is at work, so I can't have him in the call right now. And then that was that. And then, you know, if he, once he knew he was gonna go to native, Lux could have been like, hey, I need you to remove me from the ALGS roster on Battlefly. And I, and I would have been like, okay, sure, do it, whatever. Or he could have messaged Jace and been like, hey, Jace, can you remove me from the Battlefly roster? I need to, so I can be out on, on the native roster. Cause again, you can't leave, you have to submit a request. And then this is on the 26th, Luxford talks in our 
ALGS channel asking Tab, can me being removed from the roster be reviewed? Tab says it should be a majority vote. I don't know what this really meant, but I think he just misinterpreted it. And then BNM says, I think he wants to leave the team. Is that right? And then he says, oh, I interpret the review, blah, 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 blah. And then Tab messages me at 202 on a Tuesday, which is, this is when I would be at work. So he tags me at 2 p.m. when I'm at work. He said, request a roster change of battle fly, blah, 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 blah. And then I guess VNM already did it. This was seven minutes later. So I was already at work and I don't know my login. My login, it's like all auto-saved. So I just was going to do it later at that day. But request submitted, Lux is dropped, and I said Savage. That's it. And bear in mind, like, we had our own shit to worry about. Like, Lux wanted to leave. That's great. There was, I think he left, like, what? Let me pull up. Let me see what the timeline for this is. So split one, match day one, two, three. So he left on after this, so the 11th or so. And our next, our next match day was the second. So that's, like, what, two whole weeks? Let me go back to February 11th. February 11th. We played on the 10th. He decided to leave or go, you know, do a single native on the 11th. And then our next match day was... I guess for him, since he's group A, would have been the third. So he would have had essentially two and a half weeks to get this all figured out. So it is not our responsibility to take initiative ourselves to remove Lux from the roster. We had our own shit to worry about. That was the last thing on our mind. If he would have messaged us at any point in those two weeks and been like, hey, can you remove me off the roster? We would have been like, yes, sure, we'll do it. We'll put in a request, whatever, right? So this came in on 227. That's the Wednesday. That's the day of roster lock. So 227. So this is the 11th. In this entire two weeks, two and a half weeks, there's no communication from Lux. Nothing, at least to me. I don't know if he messaged Chase, but to me, because apparently I'm the one that held him hostage. He didn't say anything to me. There's no conversation, no Twitter DMs, no nothing saying, hey, remove me from the roster. It takes me a minute. I can do it. There's no reason that I couldn't have done it. Um, so I guess on the 27th, he, because we didn't do it ourselves, not that he asked, he submitted his own request. And then that's what this message was. So he submitted his own request. It was done. He's on native. That's it. End of story. I don't know what the big deal is. I don't I don't know how I'm like, I'm just sitting here mind blown. Like, how are we holding him hostage? Are we holding him hostage? Because as soon as he told us he's trying with native and that we're dropping him, that it's our responsibility to remove him from the roster immediately. It's not our, it's not our responsibility. Could we have done that like immediately? Sure. But also like there was two and a half weeks until roster lock for when he next played. So to us, it wasn't a big deal. We could have done that at any time in that two-week timeline. So I don't understand. If you're just, if you're dropping him, then you should have just removed him. Sure. But this isn't... No one's holding him fucking hostage. That is ridiculous. This is a lack of communication. Call it a lack of initiative on our end, if you want to call it that. Lack of communication on his end. It's not like Lux said, hey, can you remove me? And I just completely ignored him or just said, no, I'm holding you hostage. Like, no. Anybody can make a request as a parent here. I can't hold anybody hostage. I don't have the ability to. I don't have the interest to. Plus, it's Lux leaving the team for his own fucking team. If we wanted to add someone to our team, I would take the initiative because that's for us. If Lux wants to go out and do his own thing, we're not responsible for what he has to do. If he wants to go join another team, he knows he has to leave the Meat Lovers ALGS roster and he knows he has to go through whatever process so he can join another team. That is that has nothing to do with us. He knows that that's what he needs to do and he needed to communicate that to us. Be like, hey, remove me from the team. Pleasure playing with you, but I need this done so I can get on native before roster lock. And that would have been as simple as that. I have no fucking interest in holding anybody, anybody hostage. There's there's legit no reason for me to. It makes zero sense. It makes zero fucking sense. It's his opportunity to play on a different team. He needs to take the necessary steps. And that's telling us or submitting his own fucking request in the two weeks that he had. And I don't know why he did it the day before roster lock. Anyways, that's that's part one. Done with that. I did not hold anybody hostage. Let's go to part two. There's this thing with Sweet that basically said... I was like, I was denying this opportunity from Lux. This is back This is back before Pro League. So Sweet was done with Nathan and Lou. I think they were playing with Nathan and Lou. And I have all these DMs. I'm just trying to figure out what I can show and what I can't show. But essentially, Sweet came to me and he said, hey, I want to take over. Because Sweet didn't have a Pro League spot. The reason Sweet went with Slayer and Funk as together is because they had a Pro League spot. That's it. I don't think they picked them individually and said, hey, this is this is the God Squad. He picked them because they were due and they had a Pro League spot. And they were good. Good enough for what he wanted. I don't know if they're the ideal teammates, but it's, it's a Pro League spot. And I know that because he came to me before Pro League and he said, hey, I have an opportunity uh, for, for LG. Uh, I want to take Lux. I want to take your Pro League spot. I want to take Lux and pick up someone else. And I will make you coach of LG. That's what he said. And I thought about it. And I ultimately said no. Because one, I feel like I felt like Sweet was using me, and I didn't. I didn't actually think Sweet valued me as a person, like what I bring to the team. I feel like he was lying to me, and I feel like he was just doing it for my pro league spot. So I ultimately said no, because I've I've never had any like feeling that Sweet had any, any sort of 
respect for me. So I said no. I want that was the first reason. And two, I just don't want to fucking coach. I want to play. I'm well within my reason to play. So I said no. But if you want to take Lux, you can take Lux. I told Lux everything. I told Lux about his offer. I said, hey, Sweet thinks you're really good. Sweet's interested in playing with you. If you want to play with him, that is okay. I won't be upset. Just let me know. Let me pull up these DMs. All right, here we go. On the 13th of December, hey, yo. So he messaged me. Basically, he said he's done with an A punch. He's no pro league spot for him. He wants to play with you and keep you keep me on as a coach so we maintain the work spot. I was down to do this with Zach back when we last talked about it, but our team has been doing so good lately that I changed my mind and have zero interest in doing that. And this this right here is when Zap, Lux, and I were team. And I messaged Sweet and I was like, hey, I have a really good duo. Would you be interested in taking over my spot as IGL and bringing me on as a coach? I think our potential as a team is handicapped with me working as a job. And I think we could be a good team. But I think you taking my spot as IGL could make this team even better. But I would like to be kept on as a coach. And that offer with Lux and Zap, Sweet said no. And I said, okay. So at the time, like, I was thinking of what I could do to have a better fucking opportunity for my teammates. Like, I feel like me offering to give my spot to Sweet so he could take Lux and Zap and IGL him to, to great fucking lengths, like, better than I could. I don't feel like many people would do that. So, like, me painting this narrative as, like, someone that would deny my teammates opportunity is just complete fucking bullshit. I know you've been wanting to play with Sweet for a long time and you really respect him, so you do have some sort of opportunity with him if you want to take it. But I still want to play with the same team. Jace is on the same page. Jace is our coach. And I haven't said anything to A once, but I thought I should tell you so you know Sweet is interested in you. Oh, he's trying to use me for the pro league spot. And then blah, 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 blah. Somehow, if you did a pro league spot that Nathan, I would understand if you want to go with him, join on the spot. That's why I'm telling you. He messaged me, not just hiding the fact from me, but as of now, I don't have any interest to send me down, especially since we have been getting good with A1s and Jace. But I also, stand if, I also understand if you want to leave him to go join him in the scenario, he has his own pro league spot somehow. And hold up. Let me scroll past some stuff. There's other, stu there's other stuff about, about that whole sweet thing that I don't want to show because it's not about sweet. It's about, this whole thing is about me being this bad person that gatekeeps my teammates from taking opportunities and holds them hostage for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Like I, this whole thing was fucking stupid. I told Hal to hop in a voice chat. He banned me, blocked me, didn't respond. Hal clearly doesn't like me. He has his own reasons. But for some reason that, that guy thinks that everything we do is to target him when it's not, not the fucking truth. This whole fucking car thing saying that we just did it to grief them specifically is just not true. That was the bottom line was we wanted a car and that was our last option. We asked Northpad to trade for their POI. They said no. We asked Downbeast. They said no. We asked uh, Mill. They said no. We asked Barometer. They said no. All I know is we wanted a fucking car. Was getting a car going to make us go from being a bad team to a great team? Absolutely fucking not. But the bottom line is cars are broken and we wanted one. And that was the easiest solution. So we went with it. They were the last, they were the last option. We thought of several options before coming back and, and fucking with them. But we weren't fucking with them because it was them. We were doing it because it was a it was a good plan for us and the easiest way for us to get a car without having to contest anybody because we weren't in a position to contest because we were on the verge of getting relegated. Really